Hey folks, Carter again. Alright. Let's uh we do the bank and mud. Everybody likes the bank and mud. Alright, first things first, we go to our server. Make sure we have it shut down. The usual process for the mods. We go down to the Steam Workshop. We find the bank and mod. There we go, right there by Deadcraft. We'll install the bank and mod. Won't take long, it'll only take a couple of seconds. GTX, pretty cool for that. I like their control panel on that, it's very user friendly, it's, it's nicely put together. There we go, that's all uploaded. Got the trader mod, we just go back to our server. Nah, we want to back out of there. Go to Steam, and I'll show you what I mean. Go to the trader mod, you scroll down. Excuse me, that's the JSON file that will create. I think it's a JSON file. Server profile folder and default support this currency from the trader mod, Dr. Jones. You do not have to create the config yourself, it will be generated once you start the server for the first time after installing the mod, or if no config could be found. So it'll, it'll generate it in the SCE server profile or the config folder, whichever it's named. Or it'll make one if you don't have one either. Don't copy this directly, let it generate a new one for, for se server start. Alright. Here your settings you'll be able to do. That's the money that it uses. What we got here? Player database folder can be named. Ah, the corresponding player. So you'd use your Steam ID 64. Your player ID. All right, just sets the max own currency and. How much you have and how much your maximum can be. And all right, what we need is down here the class names and the positions for the banking machines in our normal traders. Kindly given to us. They even have more here for other traders. If you want to use Starry or Clan or somebody was kind enough to give in theirs as well. That's for offline community offline mode. Thanks to PMC Tyson for providing the location for his PMC traders. Somebody kindly gave their traders in too. I'll play pretty self-explanatory. Alright, that's what we want. That information right there. So we'll go back out. We want to go now to our file cellar. We'll go into our server. We'll scroll down. What we want now is the oh, uh, the SC folder on on GTX. It, some places it be called a config folder or server profile folder. So we we'll go into our SC folder. We'll scroll down now. What we want is the trader. Go into the trader and trader objects. So same again, we'll go to our, i just back up about that, I want to go to me, oh, there we go, I want to transfer it over, there we go, we'll just take our config folder over, Oh no, sorry. It's the objects we want. We download the objects, trader objects. We can back out of that now for the moment. We want to go into that folder, wherever we put it, that file, into the folder it's contained in. There we go, trader objects. We'll take that and edit it with Notepad++. There's our 
trader objects there's the traders their locations and then the traders themselves the objects that will spawn with them in their trader settlement and there's the start of the second trader list and then the list of the objects so we want to scroll up the top go to the very top oh. we want to bring that down a few lines want to go back to our banking mod on steam what we want is the class names it's not necessary to do this part but totally optional this part right here what we really want is them and the class names so we could do it either or ah, we won't bother doing it we'll just leave them there but what, what we want is the coordinates that are there so we'll go back on that we'll scroll down want to go to the end of the first trader there they are right there we'll take these two lines right here the object position and orientation for them too we'll copy that go to the end of the last object and we'll hit enter a few times I want to keep two spaces below it so we'll go right there paste that in we can bring that back a little does not have that many spaces between it could leave one Okay, I want to delete them now. That threw me off a little. Alright, we go to the un end of the last object. We want to copy them two objects. All the way from the object, the object orientation, object position. Copy them go to the end of the last object we create a few spaces there want to keep two spaces below it so it doesn't break the command and we'll paste it in there there's our two objects for these coordinates so we'll go in here we'll take those coordinates copy that bring it back in here this is our first one paste that in there we go to the second one the second line sorry copy that just want to put a, a bracket on the end of them they don't have a finishing bracket which would break it the, la the last coordinate won't have a, f a closing bracket on it the last one never does you can see on every line there the last one won't have a closing bracket you can tidy it up if you want Totally up to you, not necessary, it'll still work. What, what was that? It'll be quicker doing these 190. We just punch that in. Now, all we want now is the class name for the item we want to spawn, so let's go with a green one, dark green. We'll take that. Go back into our notepad plus plus take the command name up the top and replace it with the command name you just copied 
There we go. Then we just repeat the process for the next machine. These are coordinates. You can choose any any color you want. Doesn't really matter. I'll just repeat the dark green again for easiness. In there, paste them in there. Now, same again. You want to put them closing brackets on the command. Just tip it off, I'll fucking tidy and shit up. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 275, we'll fix this. It's 275. Then we just want to repeat that process for the bottom ones. So we can take these two again. copy them, we scroll down to the end of the last group of items for the last trader, it's the last batch in the file, same again, we want to leave two spaces below, so it finishes, we go another space, keep two between it, although one would be enough, we paste that in, there we go, we just want to do the same now again. Go to our class name. Oh, I think I forgot to actually change the class name in that last one up top. That was my bad. I'll check it now. Yeah. Now we're going to spawn if you get that wrong. There we go. We scroll back down. Same here. We want to change that class name. And the one above it. We'll do it now before we forget. Same again now. We want to take the coordinates from Steam. From the mob page. There's our Camarina traders right there, our banking coordinates, copy them. Paste them in there again. Don't forget to put the brackets in, or it won't, it won't read it as a different coordinate x y and z same again we get the last one now the last one in Cumbria. 325 is, is the orientation and 235 There we go, we just tidy this up. Totally not necessarily but uh, necessary but I like to do it. There we go, that should be them all in. They've all got commands, coordinates. We scroll back up, make sure in the second batch. I'll divide it up. I got commands. There we go. <laughs> Keeping it tidy. Okay, we're good. We can close that down. We go back then to our file cellar again. Same again. We want to go into our trader mod. We take our trader objects. And we'll delete it. You could take a hard copy of it to keep that as a backup if you wish, but I'm confident enough I've done the mod that many times. 
and we take our trader objects then upload it it's a standard trader object file that anyway so you could always just replace it by going into the trader mod itself in in your steam workshop and reacquiring the trader objects or config standard file there we go we uploaded that we just back out now go to our server start it up again just give it five minutes let it reinitialize the mission join back up and everything should be good as you can see the ATMs all working we can operate it 10,000 is the max at the moment but you change that in the configuration files both machines are up and working it's not that tough of a mod you just have to make sure that you put those closing brackets in really if you're going to copy and paste it and you leave the correct spacing in between the objects other than that it's pretty straightforward as ever folks I hope I hope this video was helpful and I'll be back again with another one soon. Take care all.